7.05 a.m. You're stirred from your Saturday morning slumber by a light buzzing coming from the other side of the room. Almost instinctively, you dash across the room to turn off your vibrating phone. The phone shows one unread text message from a number that you don't recognize. Received. 7.05. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm scared. Alone. I don't know what to do anymore. I've decided to document what happens with these text messages in the unfortunate event that I'm unable to tell the story for myself. You're struck with an unnerving feeling, but your mind isn't clear enough to fully comprehend what you've just read. It's too early for this. You decide to head back to bed and deal with all this later. 9.10 AM. Your phone's familiar buzz rings through your head as you wake up to find another unread message. The number is the same as the first message, and the feeling that the words give you isn't much different either. Received. 9, 10. I've decided the bathroom would be a good place to hide. I swear, I can hear footsteps coming towards me. I've heard them for hours. I need to find a way out, but I'm too afraid to move. It feels like the walls are closing in on me. All I know is that I need to get out of here. It's not safe. You're starting to get worried. You want to help, and you try to reply, but you're unsure of what to say. You try to shrug the messages off as just some kind of prank, but doing so doesn't seem to make the anxious feelings go away. For now, you decide to go about your day as you normally would. 11.14 AM. It's been two hours. The anxiety has nearly subsided. You find yourself unable to eat. This unexplainable feeling has had an effect on your appetite. Then, right on cue, you hear that same unpleasant sound. Received. 11.15. I decided to run. Just run. I have no plan, but I've got to find an exit somewhere. The doors are all locked. Now there's nowhere else for me to go. I feel cornered, and the footsteps just keep getting louder. Needless to say, these messages are starting to get to you. You can't deal with this. You decide to just let it go. Ignore the feelings. Ignore the messages. There is no reason for you to get involved with this. You hear your phone buzz many times in the next few hours, but you try your best to block out the noise. 4.01 PM. Another buzz. The anxiety is becoming overwhelming. Enough is enough. You check your phone to find four more unread messages, all from the same number as before. Received. 12, 13. I don't know how long I've been running. The footsteps won't go away. I can't escape them, no matter how fast I run. They just keep getting louder, and they're starting to seem ubiquitous. Received. 106. I can't run anymore. The footsteps are deafening, and there's pounding on the walls all around me. I must be going insane. There are voices in my head. The halls are speaking to me, but the words are unintelligible. Received. 2.24. The footsteps, the voices, every sound has stopped. All that's left is a horrific ringing. My ears have begun to bleed. My hearing is nearly gone, and it feels like my vision is beginning to fail as well. Nothing seems to be the color that it should be. The once large array of colors has now turned into various shades of black and red. The heat in here is unbearable. I'm drenched in sweat. Received. 401. I'm seeing shadows out of the corner of my eye. The walls are constantly moving. I keep trying to convince myself this is all just a sick dream. But the heat, the shadows, the blood, it's all so real. I feel helpless. At this point, you are convinced that this is no joke. You need to find him. Save him. But how? What could you possibly do to help? All you can do right now is wait for the next message. Received. 5-12. I've started to pound my head against the wall in an attempt to make the voices stop. I feel like I'm surrounded, constantly watched by someone or something. Make it stop. Please! 
Just make it all stop. Received. 556. There is so much blood. The pain doesn't seem to bother me anymore. It's my only distraction from this madness. I'm beginning to feel numb. I'm not sure how much longer I'll make it. If you are reading these messages, stay far away from Bellevue High School. There is something terribly wrong with this place. At that moment, you realize that whoever this person is, they are not that far from you. You go to that high school. This could be your chance. You could save him. 6.25 p.m. You've made up your mind. You are going to that school. You've got no idea what you're going to do when you get there. But you know that you've got to do something. You've waited long enough. Received. 6.57 I can't take this. I can't stand another second of this nightmare. There is so much blood. I can barely breathe. I'm certain this will all be over soon. It has to be. Blood. So much blood. Make it stop, please. Just make this madness stop. You dart into the school and take a quick look around. The halls seem to be empty. Where is he? You expected to see a bloodbath. For the first time, you send a reply to the message. Send. 702. I'm here. I'm at the school. Where are you? Almost instantly, you hear a buzz. Received. 702. I'm here. I'm at the school. Where are you? At first, you're confused. You reread the message over and over again. The pieces slowly come together in your mind. The messages you received all day, they were sent from your phone. With that, the door slams shut behind you, and you start to hear footsteps coming after you. Scared and alone, you turn to run, catching a glimpse of the time displayed on the clock overhead. 7.05